Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one today. Another difficult one. Austin Amber Williams, Hamza Shiraz. A really good fight as part of the 5-on-5, five five, the, the matchroom and Queensberry thing we got going on. Really, really fun card to, to match. Maybe not the most fun thing to bet because all of these are super, super close. Um, all right, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to uh, consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just $5 a month gets you to Patreon. Uh, the lock of the week, the Patreon is five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you a ton of other perks. It's important that you join this month. It's files. I break down because when I did the video originally, Wilder, Zhang, and Ball Ford didn't have the props. I've added the props and the props of where we're going to make the money. So join the Patreon, five dollars a month. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month. I'll also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into it. Emma Williams, Hamza Shiraz. I, I, I think I'm saying that name right because I think he's a heck of a prospect. And this is going to be a really good fight. Austin Emma Williams, athletic southpaw, wide base, uh, comes in behind his guard. Pretty fundamentally sound. He got a late start in boxing, but he's a really good athlete. Really good athlete. Uh, he picked. The, he's a smart guy, super smart, super good athlete. So he's got a lot of things. He has a ton of physical gifts as well. Solid power, great feet, great speed. He's got a lot of tools that you like. Really good prospect. But got kind of a late start in the sport. Uh, but he, he made that up with his super kind of super athletic <laughs> prowess. Good feet, comes forward. Good body punch. You go back early in his career, you go out there. He's got one punch body knockout. He, he mixes up his shots, head, body. He changes levels. He does things really good. Like, he's been taught to fight really, really well. Good speed, good hard jab, good snapping. He's got a really good jab. He's physically strong, too. Like, he's strong. He's really, like I said, he's really physically gifted across the board. He commits to his shots, too. He's not like, a lot of these speedsters, because he's got good speed, who just kind of slapped their shots, looked to score. No, he sits down and delivers his punches. A lot of times, it's too much one punch at a time. And he doesn't set things up real well. He, You know, that, that's what he could work on. That's what he could fix. But he's got good reflexes. He's got good hands, but he's got excellent feet. He, he, he fires off shots, and he, and he changes levels well, but... It's from the range. He's he doesn't. He's a lot of one punch at a time, where he's relying on his power. That's the kind of the one thing you could you could fix. Uh, but once he gets inside, he's good. Like I said, he's a really good ba uh, body puncher. Good power. Good speed. Good feet. Physically strong. He can he can walk you backwards. He can back you down. Good power in both hands. He's really good. Like there's so many things, and and that's why he's been able to. Make up so much time so quickly. Like he, he's, like I said, late late start in the sport, but he got real good real quick because he's got so much that he does well, so much that he does well. Hamza Hamza Siras, six foot three, seventy four inch reach, fundamentally sound, shocking power in both hands. I love this prospect. Pinpoint accurate shots from the outside. Hard power shots. Pinpoint accurate. It's been hard to really scout this guy because he destroys people so quickly. One round, two rounds. I mean, he just gets rid of people so quickly, and he's so powerful, and he's so fundamentally sound. It's hard to, like, okay, where are his defensive floors? Where's his footwork? Does he have any bit? It's hard because he gets rid of people so quick. You got to go back early. Bradley Skeet and he's watching wash people and say, okay, but you know, that was years ago. How much he's had a ton of fights in the interim. How much has he improved? How much has he fixed? Really good jab. He he's destroying people. High volume. 
he reminds me quite a bit of, of, of a prime and a young Paul Punisher Williams with, with his height, his volume, right? His punch selection. He keeps the punch. He's got this right attack style. He keeps the punches coming in. Super straight, quick punches. This guy is, I think, I think both these guys are A-level prospects. I think Hobbs is an A-plus prospect. The accuracy, the volume, the power, the destruction. He just finishes people. He destroys people. He gets rid of them. Pinpoint accurate from the outside. He uses his he uses his length. He, he sets up his power. He has a smother his shots. Uh, you can tell where I'm leaning here. I, I don't want to lean that way. Ambo's my boy. He's my Texan. I love Ambo Williams. Right now, Shiraz, I think he's got him. And so let's take a look at that. The odds kind of indicate that. Like, this is a tough fight to call. This is certainly not a lock. Um, I'm going to go Hamza. It, it could be by knockout. If it goes the distance, that's going to be Ammo's David Grace. Like, can Ammo win round? Hamza's not an easy guy to win round either. I'm leaning towards Hamza. You know, both guys can get knocked out. Both guys could win a decision. My my kind of get hunch here is Hamza by late stoppage. I'm not touching the over under. I'm not touching the winning method. The only thing I'm doing here is taking Hamza on the money line. Hundred dollar bet makes you forty four forty four. This is a tough fight to bet. This whole card is tough to bet, man. This whole five on five thing is tough to bet. Like I said, from the outside. I think Ammo's a little bit too much one punch at a time. And I think he's going to get caught. And he might be doing well, and I think he's going to eventually get caught, and he's probably going to get stopped somewhere late in the fight because Hamza, he's destroying people. Wilson Bent is the mutual opponent that they've had recently. River Wilson Bent. He gave Ammo a bit of trouble. He got absolutely annihilated by Shiraz. It's 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 tough. And then Hamza comes back and he destroys Liam. Uh, he destroys Liam Williams. Destroys him. One round. Uh, knocks him down. I think two to three times. This is just a monster right now. And he hasn't really been tested by a world-class fighter. And Ammo's a world-class fighter. So we're going to see him tested where we haven't seen that in the past. Ammo has been. And I still think Ammo can go on and win a world title. But if I have to pick this fight, I'm taking Shiraz. I think he gets, I think he gets a stoppage. But it's going to be a great fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes out to you every single major fight. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is May 29th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.